Okay, so this is the Lego 42055 bucket wheel excavator. Um, pretty much a stock model. Um, it's got uh, no real added um, bits by myself. But what I have done is a full Bluetooth RC conversion. Um, you can see down here we've got uh, one of the, the lower aspirec and right next to it you can see the motor that controls the uh, lifting and lowering of the boom uh, just tucked in up there you can see two more end motors one of those rotates the whole upper superstructure and the other one runs the lower conveyor which is the one you see just, just to the rear there um, there's another end motor tucked in just there now that rotates the rear, rear conveyor as you can see it, it moves around on this little track here um, we then have the standard XL motor and then I've ripped all the guts out of the gearbox so we've just got a single uh, output from that motor forwards through a little differential just there and that then drives the main conveyor and then underneath here you can see the L motor I've shown in there which controls the actual bucket wheel itself finally at the bottom we have two L motors which drive each track independently so as standard this model is capable of uh, running the bucket wheel and the two conveyors uh, simultaneously um, it can move forwards or backwards um, but you cannot steer it um, and um, that's what's basically the, the limitations of the model um, you can do the raising and lowering via hand of god or you can move the rear conveyor by hand of god there's also a, a gearbox setup that was back there which allowed you to move it with the, uh, the main superstructure finally up on top you can see a couple of little lights and the second aspect which is mounted just there so this is all controlled on aspex um, and i've got a nice little setup here on my old phone and what we'll do is we'll just turn all these things on so up and there, lurk and there, and the bucket wheel. So you can see everything all moving away there, quite happily. Um, and we can move that rear, can, the whole boom around, like so. I can drive it forwards. Things at once. Get the there we go, move forwards and move backwards. And we can raise and lower. So it just hits the back there. Oh, up. And then we can do the uh, it from there. Yeah. <laughs> you see, it's uh, a little on the rapid side. I haven't tweaked the settings on the motor just to withdraw, withdraw the amount of power it does. Um, just pretty much direct. Um, so I'm quite proud of this. Um, it's taken me a lot of time to get all these motors in the right places. Um, it doesn't also dig particularly well. Um, I think it's just a mister. It's uh, more of a shower than a, a doer. As you can see, anything you put comes out into that little hopper there, falls down onto the main conveyor, comes up here, falls down that little chute there, and ends up going out the rear conveyor, out to a mine truck or something similar. And finally at the rear we have a pair of battery boxes, which not only gives it a bit of extra weight, it's rather front heavy, but gives a bit more power for the motors. I'm going to be looking at building a, a LiPo battery pack to sit back here which will have a whole lot more than enough power to do the whole thing. And that concludes my uh, full Bluetooth RC 42005.